What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we are sitting dead smack in the notorious Sebastian Inlet. Got some big boats coming in and we're out here in my brand new little Pro Drive 1856. Got my outrigger lights. We got my shrimp nets, my fish gigs, some of my old salties, and this is Michael Fuguay. For those of y'all who don't know him, he is responsible for getting us in touch with the Mossy Oak guys that put us on that awesome hunt last week. So we're here in Sebastian for shrimp, but we got here a couple hours early and we're gonna try to catch a redfish or something in the inlet. Then once the tide shifts, right now it's coming in, once it shifts, we're gonna go right back there, put the lights in the water, turn them on, and try to catch some shrimp. Well, what about this big wake right here? Whoa, got a rabbit. Easy, easy. We got a big old swell breaking out there. He's got him a gulp shrimp. We're gonna see what we can do. All right, well, we didn't have much luck at the inlet, so we moved back here a little bit in the back country. Made about a, I don't know, half mile run. Michael's up front throwing a white gulp shrimp on a pink jig head, and I'm sitting here on the back just waiting for dark. I can't wait to turn these lights on and show y'all what this looks like in the dark. Over here, you see these mangroves. Well, that's an ecosystem. There's lots of crabs and shrimp, and everything lives right on the edge of that. And that's where these game fish go, the flounders and the redfish and the trout. So tonight, once it gets dark, it's dead high tide. We're gonna cruise down the edge of that and see if we can't gig something. And then once the tide shifts, we're gonna go back out to the inlet, spot lock this trolling motor down and try to dip net some shrimp. As you can tell, it's dark. And we got the gigs. I've got my Gator Pro gig. Michael's got the outrigger gig. And we're gonna see if we can't put some fish in this box to go with the shrimp we hopefully catch. One thing I will say about this from Coda Troller Motor, I sure wish they made this remote, the buttons light up, because at night you can't see it. As soon as we pulled up here, there was two big sheep's head. And of course, I wasn't ready. There are, though, stingrays everywhere. Michael already said he ain't scared. I'll put him in the, I'll put him in the boat. He ain't scared to clean him a stingray, so you never know. I'll eat anything. All right, we got a target acquired. See if we can't get him on the first try. I see him. It's all up to me now. See if I can't get him right in the head. Ow, he just <laughs> juked me. literally juked me man i had the gopro ready oh i thought that was, i i thought that was all over with all right you guys we're gonna get back to the video you're watching right now but first we're in pennsylvania northeast pennsylvania at the camelback resort i had to take a second because that night as soon as we got home we literally packed up and flew up here and i didn't have much time to go over the footage I'm gonna explain what you're about to watch. Look right there. You see that palmated deer? It's the first one I've ever seen. It's a white-tailed deer that's mostly white. It's not an albino, it's called a piebald. It's more white than brown, but not fully albino. How cool is that? Well, that's such a unique deer, probably one in a couple thousand at best. So back to that night. We started fishing at like 4 p.m. And at 11.30 p.m., we finally said we got to try something different. So I went just west of the bridge, tied up to a piling, which eliminated me from videoing because that piling had a big reflector on it. So I couldn't do that. I put a GoPro straight down in the water, was getting things ready. We couldn't catch any shrimp. We couldn't gig any fish. And all of a sudden, we saw two shrimp come through the light, so we caught them. And then we saw this massive shadow come through. Michael hooked on one of the shrimp. I hooked on the other. And before I could even turn the camera on, we had two mega giant fish on. We weren't quite sure what yet, so I untied from that pole. And that's where the problem began. You guys, one of the most dangerous things I've ever done in my life, you're about to watch. Do not ever try what you're about to watch on your own. Unless you're in a boat big enough that can handle pretty much anything, don't try Sebastian Inlet, Jupiter Inlet, Boynton Inlet any of the inlets in South Florida, to be honest with you, because they're all dangerous. Luckily for me, I'm very experienced with that. You'll hear in the video and you'll watch my body language. I knew I was in trouble, but I have enough experience. I said, I think there's a pretty good chance I can make it. 
So just watch. When you're watching this video, pay attention to me and you'll notice how quiet I am. And like right now, I'm always talking. In the video, you're gonna see how quiet I am. That's because I was scared to death, but I was also confident. So y'all watch this video and when it's over, it's over. We're in Pennsylvania making new videos now and when we get back, we've got some of the most epic footage ever, probably you'll ever see on my channel to come. January 25th, Kelly and I are going on a trip that'll probably top anything I've ever done. So you guys, let's take it back to Sebastian Inlet. We're both hooked up. Y'all watch this. Do you have anything to say? We're getting the heck out of shape. Why are you going that way? I'm not! That's just spot lock. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You guys, the stripping's been crazy slow. Oh my god, my fish is big! <laughs> well, I ain't even seen mine. I haven't even seen it yet. I gotta go out of camera for a sec. We just can't get them crossed. That's gonna be a mess. I ain't even seen mine yet. Where you at? Oh, sweet Jesus. What do I have? I don't know, but we're really. We are about to be crossed. I think we are crossed. We're just gonna have to get them both in. I can tell you the bad thing is, the bad thing is, is we're getting dangerously close to the inlet. That's just weed on my... You guys, we're getting sucked out the inlet. And this could be very dangerous. I only have 20 pound 10 liter on it. I'm telling you, I got still out on If we land either one of these, we're going to be doing good. We're going to need a bigger net. I break the motor. Well, I was cold. Remember my last video, guys? If plan A don't work, go to plan B, C, D, E, or F. Yeah, we, we're on about X. Wait, it's right here. You're gonna see him. Look at that thing. No, 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 you better no, no. go to the back. If he hooks you on that power pool, you're done dealing. Where you at? I'm way out there. We cannot get any closer to that inlet. Well, we ain't got a net near about big enough for these. <laughs> Because it's holding you. Wow, we are real close. Yeah, like we can't pull around much more. Like, you may crank the big motor. Tell, but we got a major problem going on right here. No, we don't. I can get them both right here. I go out there, my brother. Where are they at? We 
you're under the bridge now. You're about to see. About to have to break both these fish off. We cannot. I don't. I can't tell how rough that inlet is. Well, just just crank the motor. No, we got to just push this in. just saved our butt. We are a hundred yards from breakers out the mouth of this inlet and we're able to stop because of those power poles. can see this and respect what we just pulled off. Uh-oh. 
Michael, what just happened? What just happened? All right, you guys, we're 200 yards from the mouth of Sebastian Inlet, not even 100 yards. We can see it and just caught two mega giants. His is over 40, I know it. Mine's, mine's gotta be right there. Uh, no, I just measured it. Y'all hear in the background, you'll hear the waves crashing. Today at incoming tide, it was breaking at the mouth of the inlet. Outgoing tide means it gets a whole lot rougher. We want to make sure before we let go of these fish that they're revived though. I think mine's ready to go. Oh yeah. There you go. Look at him swim away beautifully. Y'all ready for this? I'm ready too. See you later, buddy. Hey. It don't get no better, y'all. Michael Fugway. <laughs> My pro drive boat, Sebastian Inlet, the Atlantic Ocean, the craziest current you've ever seen. You see those power poles? That saved our life. You see that? What'd you say? Saved our life. Literally straight up just saved our life. We're not moving. That's current. Right here is the breakers. I know you can't see it, but I'll show you some footage of this morning. It was bad. Watch this. Right there is the gate to the pier in Sebastian. That's how close we are. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. All right, yeah, we didn't die. Come here, babe, come here, babe. So we're here at the Camelback Resort. It is currently snowing outside right now, though all the mountains are covered in snow. But y'all see this right here? Earlier this week, we convinced Kelly Young here to get on it. I, I say we roll the clip. Let's roll the clip, and when we get back, we'll be in another section. I guarantee you, you don't want to go anywhere because we got some awesome footage to go. Such a serious look on her face. y'all we give that crash a 10 out of 10. like i've said a bunch of times already in this video though we're at the camelback resort there's a water park there's all kinds of awesome stuff to do but right now the kids just got out of the pool we're gonna go get them dry and bring them back here and play a bunch of video games and that will be in an upcoming video right now though we're ending this one thanks for subscribing thanks for following us both myself and kelly young hey it's time to get up out of here though and get the heck out of what we get in the heck out of shape.